previously. Ugh. Oh. We need to get Tom. Boo! Spencer blocked Tom and derailed him. Sir Tom has arrived. Tom, you've caused nothing but trouble. I'm afraid we're going to have to take you to the scrapyard. Now, Tom was put on a truck. Gordon, can you take him to the scrapyard? asked Sir Topham With pleasure, smiled Gordon. What was that? asked James. It was Iron Man. Be careful, he warned. Lots of bad guys and supervillains will try to rescue Tom, as they don't want to see him off the track. This cheered Tom up. How can we stop them? asked Thomas. Well, myself, Superman, Spider-Man and Batman are all on the lookout. Ultron! Give me Tom! He ordered. In your dreams, replied Iron Man. There will be more bad guys after Tom, warned Iron Man. Alright, Gordon, go as quickly as you can, said Sir Topham Hat. So he coupled up to the truck, and off he went. The Riddler stopped him first. Stop! Give me Tom! Never! cried Gordon. Superman sensed the danger and dived down. Quick Gordon, while he's down! Go, go, go! cried Superman. He sped off. Dr. Octopus changed the signal. <laughs> Not on my watch, said Spider-Man. He tried to hold Dr. Octopus down. Gordon had to stop. I need backup, cried Spider-Man. Iron Man landed and changed the signal. So Gordon sped off. That man was up ahead. But so was Frank. Uh oh, said Batman, as the Joker was riding Frank. They blocked Gordon's path. There's Tom, said the Joker. Don't worry Gordon, I'll deal with him, said Batman. He got in the Batmobile. But while all of that was going on, Nobody noticed Penguin behind Gordon, and he uncoupled the trucks. Batman chased Frank and the Joker away, and Gordon saw the opportunity to continue with his journey. But he didn't realise that he was no longer pulling Tom. He ran into Percy. Sorry, can't stop Percy, I'm taking Tom Moss to the scrapyard, said Gordon. No, you're not, said Percy. What? cried Gordon. He was no longer pulling Tom. Oh, I reckon the Joker and Frank was just a distraction, he realised. So they both raced back to find him. Penguin was getting impatient. Lex Luthor was meant to come and collect them with his new train. Suddenly, Tom started moving by himself. But nothing was pushing him. What? Nothing was touching him at all, yet he was moving. Gordon and Percy arrived and immediately realised how he was moving. Oh no, anyone but that, cried Percy. 
they knew that they were in big trouble now. Find out why soon. Previously, Tom, you've been nothing but trouble. I'm afraid we're going to have to take you to the scrapyard. Iron Man arrived. Lots of bad guys and supervillains will try to rescue Tom. Gordon, go as quickly as you can. Stop! Give me Tom! Never! Penguin uncoupled the trucks. Tom started moving, but nothing was touching him. Oh no, anyone but that, cried Percy. Now. It's him, cried Percy. He's moving Tom. What are we going to do? asked Gordon. Even Tom was scared. It's... it's... Darth Vader! Tom, together we can rule Sodor, he said. Tom liked the sound of that. Vader used the force to lift Tom. And put him back on the track. Gordon and Percy were scared, so they ran back to tell the others. <laughs> Thomas, Spencer and James had washed, and were wondering if Gordon had made it to the scrapyard. Guys, guys, we have a problem, he panted. What is it, Gordon? asked Thomas. Darth Vader helped Tom escape, cried Percy. Darth Vader, cried Spencer and James. We need help, said Sir Topham Hat. So they called the superheroes, but they didn't know how to deal with Darth Vader. He's far too powerful, said Batman. Who can help us deal with him? asked Iron Man. Thomas had an idea. Nearby, Tom and Vader were making their presence felt. <laughs> what? Whoa! Ah! Hide! Hide! <laughs> Phew! Over here! cried Thomas. Tom noticed him and wanted revenge, so he sped towards him, but didn't think it through. <laughs> The signal hit Darth Vader off. Thomas ran, with Tom just behind. <laughs> uh, stupid train, complained Vader. A Star Wars rebel fighter approached him. You, cried Vader. Out stepped Luke Skywalker. Thomas told me you were here. Leave these poor trains alone, he said. But Vader resisted, so they dueled. Vader went in for a strong lunge, but Luke evaded it. Huh? Gordon approached them. And knocked Vader over. He was defeated. Well done, Gordon, said Luke. Oh, thank Thomas. He came up with the plan, Gordon replied. So Luke dealt with Vader. And as for Tom, well, it took Thomas a while to realise that Tom had stopped chasing him. Where did he go? wondered Thomas. Turns out that Tom had no interest in chasing Thomas. He just wanted to be nice and safe back in his own tunnel. <laughs> so everyone regrouped. 
Well done everyone, says Sir Topham Hat. You all showed great bravery today. Tom did get away though, said James. But he's just glad he's not heading to the scrapyard, said Gordon. He won't bother us for a while. So Tom was back in his tunnel, thinking up of his next prank. Uh oh. It's Tom Moss. And he's looking to have some fun. Look what he's found. A fireworks truck. This could be trouble. He pushed it around and dropped a couple of fireworks. So that the hard working trains like Thomas and Percy would run over them. Hmm, what's that sound? wondered Thomas. The truck was on the firework. Suddenly, his truck exploded. Oh, it was Tom Moss. Ugh, there's jam everywhere, he sulked. But it wasn't just his truck that had exploded. Oh no, my cheese, cried Percy. Oh, Tom. Thomas arrived. Look what Tom did to my truck, complained Thomas. He did that to my truck too, cried Percy. We need to prank him back, said Thomas. Percy agreed, so they came up with a plan. So later that day, Tom was wandering around, looking for trains to prank. When a ghost appeared... Tom doesn't like ghosts. It was a ghost Percy. Tom expected some ghostly things to happen, but nothing did. Tom then realised that it was no ghost, it was just Percy. So he left. He didn't fall for it. The plan's working, thought Percy. Tom then ran into another ghost. Ghost Gordon. Again, nothing spooky happened, making Tom realise that Gordon wasn't actually a ghost. So he left. Heh <laughs> wait till he sees the next ghost, said Gordon. He then ran into Ghosty, whom Tom had never met before. Tom has a think. Percy wasn't a ghost. Gordon wasn't a ghost. So this just must be Thomas in disguise. He wasn't going to be fooled for a third time, so he charged towards the ghost, but went straight through him. This really scared Tom. Ghosty then made some strange things happen. The water tower turned on. Points started changing. And what spooked Tom the most was that the fireworks truck he'd used earlier was moving completely by itself. Tom ran away, but the fireworks truck was still chasing him. He ran back to his tunnel. Everyone gathered round Ghosty. Thanks, Ghosty, said Thomas. No problem, he replied. It's good to finally prank Tom back, said Percy. So everyone was happy as their prank had worked. 
Express coming through! Express coming through! shouted Gordon proudly. Through the tunnel. Where's his express coach? There it is with... Is that Tom Moss the prank engine? Here it is. You're up to mischief again, aren't you? <laughs> Express coming through! shouted Gordon. There were people waiting at Maithwaite for the Express. Gordon pulled in. All aboard the Express! he shouted. But there was no coach for the passengers. What are you doing, Gordon? said Sir Topham Hat. Where is your coach? It's behind me. Well, it was when I started, sir. I don't know what's happened to it. Thomas pulled up. Ah, oh, Thomas, said Sir Topham Hat. Can you go and fetch Annie and Clarabel and move these passengers? Gordon seems to be getting very forgetful. And I need a reliable engine. Yes, sir, said Thomas, and he raced away. I'm going to be the express. I'm going to be the express, he shouted. He picked up Annie and Clarabel and raced off towards Maithwaite. Through the tunnel. Oh no, not Thomas as well. <laughs> the express coming through, shouted Thomas. He pulled into Maithwaite. All aboard the express, he shouted. The passengers were not happy at all. Thomas, what is going on today? Where are Annie and Clarabel? But they were behind me when I left, sir. I thought... Oh, sorry, sir. I'll go and find them. He left. Down at the docks, Cranky had just loaded some paint into Ben's truck. Thanks, Cranky, said Ben, and off he went. He was taking the paint to Sir Topham Hat. Through the tunnel, Oh no, not Ben as well. <laughs> Thomas then found Gordon. Have you forgotten your coaches as well, Thomas? said Gordon. There's something funny going on, said Thomas. And off he went. Thomas then met Ben. Have you seen my paint truck, Thomas? said Ben. <laughs> no, said Thomas, but there's a lot of things missing today. Percy had collected a dinosaur skeleton and was taking it to the museum. Look, Thomas, said Percy. A dinosaur skeleton. I've been allowed to tow it. That gives me an idea, said Thomas. Percy then continued, but with Thomas pushing the dinosaur as well. Through the tunnel. Oh no. Here comes Tom Moss. Ha ha! Got you, said Thomas. Tom Moss steamed off backwards. Thomas followed. But Gordon stopped him. Thomas, 
we've got passengers waiting who are more important than catching that prankster. Let's find our coaches. I know where they'll be, said Thomas. Follow me. They found Thomas's tunnel and collected their trucks and coaches and got back to work. And Tom Moss, well, he realised he wasn't being chased anymore. He'd got away with it again. <laughs> oh, not again. It's Tom Moss. <laughs> Meanwhile, Sir Topham Hat was telling some engines what they were doing for an important party that day. Engines, this party needs to go well. So Thomas, you're bringing the guests in Annie and Clarabel. Percy, you're bringing the presents. Stanley, you're bringing the balloons. And Diesel, you're bringing the decorations, which are wrapped up in parcels. So the engines knew what they were doing. Unfortunately, Tom Moss wanted to spoil the party. He got Thomas first, who was bringing the guests. He attached a smelly truck full of fish to the back of Annie and Clarabelle. <laughs> and Thomas didn't notice. <laughs> Do you smell fish? asked Thomas. <laughs> Next, Tom got Percy who was bringing the presents. Tom swapped the presents for coal. And Percy didn't notice. Then Stanley got pranked. He was bringing the balloons. But Tom overinflated them. So when Stanley started moving, he floated away. Ah, get me down, he cried. And finally, Tom pranked Diesel, who was bringing the wrapped up decorations. Tom added very heavy weights to the trucks, making them very hard to move. So when Diesel wanted to leave, he just couldn't. He finally got moving but he had to use a bridge. He really struggled up the hill. Until... The coupling snapped. Uh-oh! The trucks were out of control. And Percy was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Oh dear. Tom arrived. <laughs> oh, it's you again, sighed Percy. Diesel arrived. He didn't like being pranked. So he chased Tom. Meanwhile, in the air... Help! Help! Iron Man heard him. He knew he had to save Stanley, so he shot some balloons. So Stanley floated down to the ground.
Diesel had to stop chasing Tom, because Stanley was blocking the track. <laughs> so Tom ran back to his tunnel. Iron Man landed. Oh dear, it's a bit of a mess down here, he said. So he helped sort out the mess. Thank you, Iron Man, said Percy. Now I just need to get these presents to the party. Uh, Percy? Those aren't presents. That's coal. Oh no, then where are the presents? asked Percy. Don't worry, I saw Tom swap them. I found them behind some bushes earlier, said Iron Man. Oh, thank you, Iron Man, cried Percy. So the trains took their trucks to the party. Thomas had taken the guests but they had to put up the smell of fish for the journey. So the trains had all got there on time, and the party was a success. <laughs> uh oh! <laughs> it's Tom Moss again! <laughs> What's he up to? <laughs> Meanwhile, it was a special day for Dave the Minion. Happy birthday, Dave! Ah, oh, thanks. So Thomas, Toby and Percy were going to deliver all of the party supplies. Thomas was bringing the presents, Toby was bringing the balloons, and Percy was bringing the bunting and the cake. But all did not go to plan, because they had to pass through this tunnel. <laughs> Thomas went first. He went in, and came out with no trucks. He stopped. Hmm, something feels different. But he thought nothing of it, and continued with his journey, not realising that his trucks were missing. Toby went through the tunnel next. He lost his trucks too. But he didn't notice either, so he carried on with his journey. And finally, Percy went through the tunnel. And his trucks were taken too. were shocked. Where's our stuff? Oh dear, sorry guys. Where have our trucks gone? Hmm, that tunnel we passed through was a bit strange. I think you're right, Percy. Let's go and investigate that tunnel. Ooh, investigate? Can we come? Can we come? Of course you can. It is your birthday. So the minions hopped in a truck and off they went. When they got there, they heard... <laughs> Tom Moss! Oh, I knew someone like him must have been behind this. How will we get our trucks back? Hmm, oh, I know. What? He explained his plan. So Percy collected a truck full of fireworks. I hope this plan works. And he headed through the tunnel. Tom Moss took the truck. Yes, he took it. Hehe, <laughs> the plan is working. Oh, here he comes. Tom emerged from the tunnel with all of the trucks. He thought he was getting away.
but then he heard a noise coming from the fireworks truck. He quickly realised one of the fireworks was lit and was about to go off, so he ran away, leaving the trucks behind. The fireworks did go off. Well done guys, your plan worked! So the trains coupled up to their trucks and took the minions back to their party, which was a huge success. And Tom ran back to his tunnel. Until next time. <laughs>
every engine on the island has worked very hard to finish building the elephant park and you have ruined it. I'm going to have to cancel the grand opening and it's all your fault. For once, Tom Moss felt terrible. The next day, Thomas could hear a lot of noise coming from the new elephant park, so he went to check it out. Thomas couldn't believe his eyes. I now declare the new elephant park officially open. But I thought the opening was cancelled. <laughs> it was, Thomas. But it turns out everyone loves the elephant in the lake, even if it was a mistake. Now, who's going to help me get off this rock? <laughs> Uh oh, it's Tom Moss. And he's discussing his plan with a minion. Ooh, that's a bad combination. <laughs> Nearby, Thomas was guarding a very special crown that an old friend was due to deliver. It wasn't long before Mighty Mac and Oliver arrived. Hello Thomas, they said. Hi guys, Thomas replied. Can I see Thomas? asked one side of Mighty Mac. OK, said the other. Ah, oh, that's better. Hello Thomas. Is that the crown I'm delivering? asked Oliver. Yes, but be careful. Some people may want to steal it. It's very valuable, warned Thomas. And especially, watch out for Tom Moss. Well, I'll let you sort that out, said Mighty Mac. I promised to help out so Topham Hat, and he left. He ran into a minion, but he'd never met a minion before, so he didn't know who it was. Hello, he said, who are you? I'm, uh, Tom Moss. <laughs> Tom Moss? Oh, I'd better warn Oliver, he thought so he rushed back to the others. Guys! Guys! Tom Moss is over there! cried Mighty Mac. Really? OK, well, Oliver, you'd better go the other way, said Thomas. Oliver agreed, so went the other way. Unfortunately, he ran into the actual Tom Moss, but Oliver didn't know who he was either. Hello there, he said. I'm delivering this very important crown. Please could you move out of the way? Oliver didn't realise that the truck was on the point, and it was too late. <laughs> oh, I walked right into that one, thought Oliver. Tom was getting away. <laughs> Oliver turned around and chased. But only found an empty truck. Oh, he could be anywhere by now, he said. <laughs> Oliver went back to tell the others, but no one knew what to do. Luckily, some Paw Patrol pups were nearby. <laughs> What's that sound? asked Tracker. It's Tom Moss, cried Sky. Tom passed by. Is he royal? asked Tracker. No, he must have stolen that crown, cried Rubble. We've got to get it back. Sky had an idea and changed into her flying gear took off. Phew, that was fast, said Tracker. She found him. And chased him. And 
until she knocked the crown off. Tom didn't care though, he just didn't want to get caught again, so he ran back to his tunnel. <laughs> so Sky took the crown and gave it back to the others. Thank you Sky, said Oliver. No problem, she replied. So the crown was put back in the truck and Oliver delivered it. But he was a lot more careful this time. It's National Surprise Day on the island of Sodor, where engines like to play pranks on each other. Four cheeky engines have dressed up as super villains. Looks like a job for the Avengers! <laughs> Can you guess who the four cheeky engines are?
What a lovely morning, thought Thomas, looking out of Tibna's sheds. And off he went. <laughs> Thomas was staring right at the ground. Where has the turntable gone? The turntable connected all the sheds together, so only one piece of track was needed to get to them. But today, it wasn't there. What's all the noise? said James. What have you done with the turntable, Thomas? said Gordon. How are we going to work today? said Henry. Are you all right, Thomas? said Percy. Sir Topham had arrived. I'm not quite sure what's happened, he said, but I'll get a new turntable put in straight away. <laughs> On the other side of town, laughter could be heard. Tom Moss the prank engine. I think it might have been you. It didn't take the engineers long to fit a new turntable and Thomas was the first engine to use it. It was good to get out on the track again and Thomas was enjoying the journey. Then he had a bit of luck. He heard Tom Moss laughing and immediately knew that it was him who took the turntable. I need a plan, he thought. Yes, I know. Off he went to meet Percy and James and he told them his plan. A little later on, he met Percy near Tom's tunnel. Tell the other engines to meet me by the signals at the garden shop, Thomas told Percy quite loud, in one hour's time. They left, but Thomas doubled back. He saw Tom Moss leave his tunnel. The plan was working. Tom went towards the garden shop and changed all the signals to red. Then he hid. Meanwhile, with Tom on the other side of town and out of his tunnel, Percy and James were very busy bringing large bricks backwards and forwards. they completely bricked up the back of the tunnel. They also hid a pile of bricks behind the trees near the front of the tunnel. Thomas went to the garden shop. The signals were red, so he waited. And waited and waited. <laughs> Having caught Thomas, Tom Moss crept away. <laughs> Thomas saw this and knew the light wasn't really red and followed. Tom, pleased with his work, reversed into his tunnel. Percy and James sprung into action and bricked up the front of the tunnel. Thomas arrived. Did it work? he said. Yes, said Percy. He's now trapped and won't ever get out. But as they were celebrating, Tom Moss burst through the wall and headed for the forest. After him, Percy, said Thomas. But Percy didn't move quick enough and Thomas knocked him over and came off the track himself. 
Oh dear. Tom Moss got away again. Thanks for watching our story. If you liked it, go on, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and then click any of these pictures to watch another story. See you soon. Oh, <laughs> oh,